trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. Spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, oh, oh. another day of learning about Jesus and today we're going to learn about how Jesus's power helps us live forever. So I'm so excited to learn some of the lessons today. Even though some of them are a little bit sad, it's a really good thing for us to understand how Jesus' love can help us get through hard times. So we're going to go meet our friend for the day. Uh, be sure you have your buddy bracelet. Make sure you have all your stuff in your box and you're ready to go. And we're going to go meet Finn and he's gonna tell us about our theme for today. Are you ready to splash into another fantastic day at BBS? I'm Finn, a rainbow trout. I'm happiest when I'm taking a dip in a clean, bubbly mountain stream. Ah, oh, this is the life. This stream is where I began life. This exact spot where I hatch is pretty important to me, but we'll get to that later. I spend most of my day flipping my fins, swishing my scales, and exploring this awesome river looking for food. I love to eat. Me and my fishy friends spend about 80% of our day looking for food. I use my mouth to poke around and look for good stuff to eat and sometimes I end up getting a mouthful of weeds and sticks. Not bad. Of course it's not as good as the bugs or the crustaceans I usually like. I'll even jump out of the water for them. God gave me something super sharp to help me find food, my eyes. They show me what to eat <laughs> and what to stay away from. After being born, I might travel to a new stream far away from my home. But when it's time to lay eggs, rainbow trout always return home. My cousins, steelhead trout, travel from a freshwater stream all the way to the ocean. 
Even if they've lived in the ocean for a couple of years, they swim against the stream to make it back home. That takes a lot of power. Wow. Home is important to me and my fish family. Jesus knew that a forever home was important too. That's why Jesus died, to pay for all the wrong things you've ever done or will ever do. Because those sins are paid for, you can have life forever in an awesome place called heaven. But Jesus' power doesn't just cover your sins. Jesus is so powerful that he beat death forever. But it gets even better. The Bible tells us the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. That means a friendship with Jesus gives you the same awesome power that let him beat death. <laughs> wow! So, if you're feeling worried or sad, or things seem out of control, remember that Jesus' power is bigger than anything, and it's right there for you. <laughs> Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus! <laughs>
Jesus and his cross. Yay. Oh, what a great song that was. Okay, get your whistles ready. It's time to blow them. And what does that mean? It's time for boat sighting. Yeah. yeah. So let's get our post-it notes out. Let's get our crayons ready. Let's pick a different color today. What do you want to pick today? Mm -hmm. I'll pick green today. I'll take red. Okay. Thank you. I think I'll do blue. Thank you. So I was thinking last night I got a phone call from my daughter. She's on a trip and she's a far, far way away from me. And so I was feeling a little bit sad, but I was so glad, not only for telephones that I can talk to her, but when we were done talking, she said, I love you. So I made a picture of a heart because it makes me feel God's love when I feel my family's love. Aww. Because that's how they learn to love. Yeah. So let me put that on there and let's see what did you ladies pick today. All right, so I drew a picture of some music notes because like the song that we just sang, music always reminds me of God's love because it's just such a nice sound and it just, it reminds me of all the beauty that he's given us to appreciate. Oh, I love music too. That's yeah. a great one. And I drew a flower because it reminds me of God's love that he provides for us constantly through nature, through friends. And so whenever I see a flower, it just reminds that like God made that, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. All right. I hope you've had some good God sightings. So be sure and draw your picture. Are you making a picture of all of your guy sightings on a window or a um, door somewhere nearby that you can see them? If you look at them, you can read them and it can remind you every day of the great things that are going on in our world around us. All right. But we're going to talk a little bit about Ecuador and our friend Sharon over here, right? Because llamas and alpacas, they're noisy. Mm -hmm. They make all kind of noise all day long. Yeah. But the funny thing I didn't know about them is they like to hum. Do you guys know how to hum? Mm -hmm. You stick your lips together and you make a sound, but you can't let any words come out. All right, so you try it. Mm -hmm. And that's how they communicate with each other. Yeah. All right. Well, did y'all know that our llama over here says, or our alpaca, oh my gosh, our alpaca says gracias, which is thank you in Spanish, because they speak Spanish in Ecuador. That's oh. right. Excellent. Yeah, she speaks Spanish, all right? So I want you to try and hum a message. Oh, you know what? Let me get Patches here. Oh, Patches. Get your friend, and I want you to hum a message in your friend's ear and see if they can tell what you're saying. What do you think? Did you understand? I'm going to let Patches tell me a message and see if I can understand him. Patches asked for more bamboo. Can you Patches. Help me <laughs> Patches, I don't have any bamboo, bamboo, but I bet Shelby's got some M&Ms in her pocket. Ah, maybe you can get some later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're ready to go. Uh, we're on the train down to Bible Adventure Station, so let's hop aboard with Finn. Now, Finn is not a mountain animal, so Finn had to ride in the back of the train so he could have his own basket. He lives in the mountain streams, but he can't live on the mountains all by himself. Mm. So we're going to take a ride with Finn to Bible Adventure Station. And off we go. Bye, Finn. Bye, Bye Finn. Finn. Hello. Welcome to Bible Adventure Station. We're so glad that you're here today. All right. So we're going to read another of our stories out of the Bible today. And this one is in the book of Matthew. And this is a very, very sweet story because this is a story about Jesus, about how he died and about how he was resurrected. So we want to tell the story about how Jesus' power lets us live forever. And not just live forever, live forever in heaven. So I want you to think about your favorite place in the whole world. And I have a tough time deciding on mine. You see, I can't decide is it a little cabin in the mountains with a little stream going by. I love how the water sounds when it goes over the rocks and blah, 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 blah. That's my favorite place to be unless 
See, there's always Disney World. That's one of my favorite places too, and I can't decide which one would be the better place for me to hang out, but you know what? No matter how great our favorite place in the whole world is, it's not even close to what heaven is like. And it's so amazing. The streets are paved with gold, and it's filled with peace and love and happiness, and there's just nothing like it. And it's so exciting for us to know that through Jesus' power, we can live with him forever in heaven. Trust Jesus. So I want to tell you that there's a little bit of a problem with this, though, all right? And the problem is we kind of make mistakes, you know? When we do something wrong and we disobey mom and dad, then usually there's some kind of consequence for that. Like we get put in time out or maybe we lose a privilege, something like that, all right? So kind of the same thing happens when we disobey God. It's kind of like we get a time out from heaven because heaven is a perfect place. And if we make bad choices, then we won't be able to be there, right? And so it's kind of like we have bad choices stuck in our heart, right? Now, sometimes I do selfish things. The other day, I had a candy bar. And I was coming home from the grocery store, and I thought, if I walk into my house with that candy bar, somebody, one of my kids, I got four kids, one of my kids is going to say, ooh, can I have a bite? And I didn't really want to share with them. So I sat in my car and ate the whole candy bar all by myself. So sometimes I don't feel like sharing. And that's kind of like having a bad choice just kind of stuck in my heart. So I want you to find your bag, go over here and get your bag with the black picture in it today, black paper in it, and look in there and see if you can find a cross. Now your cross might be colored or it might be white, so find a cross. And there's some little stickies in there. And so I want you to think about is there a time maybe that you made a bad choice? Maybe you didn't share with somebody? And I want you to take your sticker. Don't put it on your cross. We're going to put the cross over here for a little bit. We'll use that in just a minute. I want you to take your sticker off, and I want you to put it on your shirt, too. Yeah, you know, sometimes we just don't make good choices. Sometimes I was really proud of doing something that I did a really good job of. Yeah, and I was thinking, man, that was so great. I just was really phenomenal. And I forgot to honor God and say, thank you for giving me my talents. Thank you for helping me remember what to do. Thank you for helping me to succeed in that. I was too proud and I said it was all me. God didn't have anything to do with it. So if you can think of a time maybe when you did something that wasn't so great, you can put a sticker on you. All right. Now, there's another time when I disobeyed what my mom and dad said. You know, this was when I was back in high school, and I was supposed to stay after for band practice, and after it was over, I was supposed to come straight home. Now, back then, I could walk home from school, and I was doing that, but there were lots of really cool shops along the way. And I thought, you know, it wouldn't hurt anything if I just stopped in and hung out in the shop for a little while. But that shop had so many cool things in it, I stayed a little bit longer than a little while. And by the time I came out, it was dark. And there weren't any people around anymore. I guess most people had gone home for dinner already, and I was having to walk home in the dark. And I was kind of scared. And I called up my mom and I said, I didn't do what you told me to do. I disobeyed. And now I'm scared. Can you come help me? Now, she was nice and she forgave me for it. But sometimes when we make wrong choices, it just kind of sticks to us. And it sticks to us in our hearts. And then that makes it hard for us to be able to live forever with Jesus in heaven. Right? Because you know what? There was only one 
person who didn't make any wrong choices, didn't have any sticky notes stuck to their heart. Right? And that was Jesus. He was perfect in every way. Right? But some of the leaders, they didn't believe that Jesus was the Son of God. They didn't believe the things that Jesus taught. They didn't understand everything. And so they decided that they were going to catch Jesus. And so everyone that was Jesus' friends, you remember how we learned yesterday he gives us power to be bold? They weren't bold at all. In fact, when they came to get Jesus, they ran and hid. Can you find a chair or a couch and go hide behind it? Because, oh my goodness, the soldiers were scary. Oh man, but you know what? They really wanted to know what was happening, so they kind of watched. So what were they doing with Jesus? What was happening? All right? And they kind of snuck around to find out what was going on. Well, you know what was going on? Was they took Jesus, and they put a crown of thorns on his head, and they put nails in his hands, and they nailed him up to the cross. And Jesus didn't do anything wrong. And Jesus had the power to save himself, but he didn't. He didn't stop them. He let them put him on the cross, and he said, it is finished. And he died. And that's really sad because he didn't do anything wrong and he was being punished for all the things that I did wrong and that you've done wrong. And so I want you to take your little animal friend. I'm going to take a little baby Jesus. But you can take a towel and get your animal friend, and I want you to wrap them up because that's what they did when they took Jesus' body off the cross. They took him and they wrapped him. My dots are going crazy here. They wrapped him up. And they put him in a tomb. They rolled away the stone, and they put him in there, and they rolled the stone back. And he was in there. Do you know how long? Yeah, he was there for three days. And after three days, his friends came to come and help take care of the body. And they were very sad. They missed their friend Jesus. But you know what happened? That's right. I knew you would know. When they opened the tomb, now see, when I open it, mine's still here. Is your animal still wrapped up? I want you to unwrap it and hide it behind you. Okay? And imagine that you were Mary and you came looking for Jesus, but he wasn't there. He was gone and she didn't know where he was. And she was very, very sad until a little bit later when Jesus came up to her. And when she realized that it was Jesus and that he had been resurrected and that he was still alive, she was so happy. And that's exactly how we'll feel when we get to heaven. But because Jesus died for us, he took our sticky notes and he took care of them. So I want you to find your cross and go put your sticky notes on the cross because every mistake that we've made we can just give it to Jesus and Jesus when he died on the cross he took care of that for us so that we don't have that in our hearts anymore and we can go and be in heaven with Jesus forever because Jesus gives us power to live forever trust Jesus choo, choo. So I want you to look in your Bible pack and find today's Bible page. And today's Bible page, it has a picture of heaven. Now, we don't really know exactly what heaven looks like, but this is what somebody drew thinking what they thought heaven might look like. 
So we're going to take just a couple of minutes here, and we're going to color a picture of heaven. Right? So I want you to find your yellow crayon, and we're going to say that that's our gold crayon, and we're going to color the streets gold. So find your yellow crayon and color the streets gold, and then you can take all the other colors and you can make your heaven filled with jewels and shiny, shiny things, right? Or you can do some pretty purple flowers, or you can do whatever you think heaven might look like. I'm almost done with my picture here. I colored my streets with gold and I put lots of bright and beautiful colors because heaven is a beautiful place. And what I love about it the most is you can see how many friends are there and you can see how happy they are to see each other. And so I am so glad to know that through Jesus' power, we can live in heaven forever. Trust Jesus. All right, friends, well, this is a great time for us to take a break. So go ahead and have a little bit of a bathroom break. Go wash your hands, get ready for our snack. And uh, come on, join me with some songs while we wait for everyone to get ready. See you back at St. Paul Depot. in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. Now let's bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train. This train. This train. God of heaven and earth, 
you are amazing you hold me up with your hand you give me faith and i will put my hope in you alone in you alone god of heaven and earth you are amazing you hold me up with your hand Okay, welcome back. Let's go ahead and say our blessing for our snack today, okay? We're gonna fold our hands and close our eyes and we're gonna think, dear God, we thank thee for teaching us how Jesus' power can help us to live forever. We thank thee for knowing that our families and our friends can celebrate in heaven together one day. We thank thee for a fun snack to share with our friends and we thank you for Vacation Bible School. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. So our snack today, we're going to take two licorice sticks. And, uh, we're going to see if we can pull them out of the wrappers. All right. And you know, when you take them, you take two sticks like this and you crisscross them, it makes a letter. Can you tell what letter? Mine are kind of wimpy there, wiggly but it makes an X, kind of like at the end of a railroad track, they make an X, and the X means that it's time to stop, and the train can't go any further. That's the end of the line. Nowhere else for the train to go. But if we turn our X and stand it up like this, what does it look like now? That's right, it looks like a cross. And what the cross tells us is that it's not the end and that we can live on forever and ever with Jesus in heaven. So what an exciting thing to know that we can use Jesus' power to live forever. And you know, there's a story we're about to watch here. And this story is a kind of a little sad story, right? It's a story about a guy named Isaac, and he had a little brother named Joel. Now, Joel had cancer, which is not something that kids usually have. We don't usually have to worry about that, but, but Joel had cancer, and he died from that. But Joel was Jesus' friend, and so Joel went up to heaven to be with Jesus, and this story is about how Isaac is looking forward to seeing Joel in heaven again one day. And I know exactly how Isaac feels, because you know what? My mom died last month. And I really miss her, and that makes me sad. But like Mary was sad at the tomb, and like I was sad when my mom died. But then Mary 
was glad when she saw that Jesus was resurrected. And I know that my mom is so happy in heaven. She might even be up there with Joel right now, and maybe they're playing a game of cards together and having a good time. And I am glad that she is not sick anymore. And so we're gonna watch the story about what Isaac does, and you can enjoy your snack while we look and see all the wonderful things that heaven has for us when we use Jesus' power to live forever. Trust Jesus. Choo-choo! I'm Isaac and I'm 11 years old. Uh, at home I like to, well a lot of times I play video games. I have two brothers, one's older than me, he's into acting and singing. My younger brother Elijah, he's seven. My sister's name is Zoe. But she, like a normal four-year-old toddler, will make messes all the time, paint on the walls. Isaac also dances. Uh, I started dancing, I think, like two years ago. My favorite kind of dance is contemporary or lyrical. It's sort of like ballet, but it's a little more free. I always felt like when I was dancing, I wasn't really stressed about anything or worry, sort of forget about anything else that is bothering you. Isaac had another brother named Joel. Joel was two years younger than I am. He was always really happy and joyful. When he was one, he was diagnosed with brain cancer. Cancer is a disease that most kids do not have or get. He had to do some crazy thing to get rid of it, and it was gone for a year. But then it came back, and they said he only had a few months to live, but then he lived five more years. Sadly, Isaac's little brother, Joel, died. One of the things I remember a lot about him is he always had that, like, little giggle. <laughs> He, he always loved knocking cup towers down. So he'd make one that was like maybe double the size of him. <laughs> and he'd run into it and it would c come down and he'd laugh so hard. A lot of times we'd take him to this farm. It was like a petting zoo in some places and you could feed the animals. I have this one mem memory of Joel. He, he was feeding the goats. So we give him the bag to reach in and <laughs> give to the goats, but then he just gives the bag to the goats and the goat devours oh. the whole thing. <laughs> Joel always loved animals. One time he got to ride a pony and he was so happy. He loved it. Isaac misses his brother Joel. Joel loved Jesus and believed in him too. Um, a lot of times I feel sort of like I miss him and pretty sad, but I'm glad that he's in heaven and he can do so many things that I can't even do right now. <laughs> Dancing always like cheers me up because I sort of, it makes me think about God and how he's with Joel and he is amazing. <laughs> Isaac knows that because of Jesus, he will be able to see his brother again in heaven. I sort of look forward to hearing his giggle, and I look forward to running up to him and giving him a grand old hug. <laughs> in the Bible, the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 11 says, the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you. I feel like that verse makes me feel like sort of hopeful that we can share the power of God and the Holy Spirit with the whole world and that one day we can all know Jesus and God and praise and worship together. Even if we die, we still get to live forever in heaven with God and Jesus' power is letting you live forever. Jesus' power lets us live forever. so glad that he is looking forward to seeing his brother Joel one day. 
So we're going to talk about our Bible verse for the day. All right. And so our Bible verse this time says, The Spirit of God, who raised Jesus from the dead, lives in you. All right. So we're going to point out, because we're talking about God, the Spirit of God, who raised Jesus from the dead. And then we're going to make L's with our hands. And then we just turn them here and draw them right up your belly. Lives in you. All right, let's try it one more time. Ready? You got it? The Spirit of God, who raised Jesus from the dead, lives in you. Good job. Now, I wanted to share a book with you guys today. Right? Now, every book has a beginning and an ending. We've kind of been talking about that today, that, you know, our lives have a beginning and an ending, and stories have a beginning and an ending, and journeys, train rides, have a beginning and an ending. So we're going to read this story until the end, but then we're going to read a book that has no end. It's called a perpetual paper, and it never, ever ends. So I'm excited to see that. But first, let's read our story here. And this is called Tough Boris. It's about a pirate. This is song, uh, uh, this is written by Mim Fox. And it says, Once upon a time, there lived a pirate named Boris Vonderboer. He looks a little scruffy to me. He was tough. All pirates are tough. He was massive. All pirates are massive. He was scruffy. Oh, that's what I said. Yeah, he was scruffy. All pirates are scruffy. He was greedy. Ooh, that means he wanted lots of treasure. Yeah. All pirates are greedy. He was fearless. All pirates are fearless. He was scary. What do you think he's going to say next? That's right. All pirates are scary. But when his parrot died, he cried. So do I. The end. It's okay for us to be sad sometimes when sad things happen. I think Isaac was sad when his brother Joel died. It's okay to cry when we're sad. But we're learning today that because of Jesus, we don't have to stay sad. That we can use his hope to help us find the light at the end of the tunnel. And we can use his power that's going to help us live forever to know that we get to see our families again. And that our pirate friend will get to see his parrot again too. Before we go to our book that we read forever and ever and ever, we're going to do a little game that lasts forever too. Because I think we need to wiggle just a little bit, okay? So I'm going to move my chair out of the way. You move your stuff if you need to move anything so you have somewhere to move on the ground. All right, this is a silly game that lasts forever and ever and ever. Oh my goodness gracious. You know what, I'm gonna get my whistle out here because this game is gonna go on until the whistle blows. Because this is a silly game where I want you to see if you can kick your feet up in the air and then spin around and kick your feet up in the air and spin around and kick on the air and 
spin around and kick in the air and spin around. Now, how do we know when the game ends? Have you reached the finish line yet? Where is the finish line? I'm running and I'm running and I'm running. I don't see the finish line, do you? Oh my goodness gracious. I'm gonna try it in slow motion. And kick and spin in slow motion. What about super fast? Kick and spin and kick and spin. Oh my goodness, I can't do best food. Can you do it super fast? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna blow the whistle right there. <laughs> Woo, and say that that's all the game that I can do. I bet you're still going, aren't you? <laughs> well, that's a game that we could play forever until our energy runs out. Woo, but we're gonna get out our perpetual papers and see if we can read a book that lasts forever. When you get it out, don't open it yet. We're gonna listen on Imagination Station and see what she tells us to do with it. And when you do open it, be very gentle because you don't wanna tear your book. And you can see how you can read it forever and ever. Welcome back to Imagination Station. I'm so happy to see you. I can only imagine what we'll discover together today. Today, we're discovering that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus! But before we do anything else, you know, I just have to ask, did you bring your imaginations today? I don't know. Your brains look a little dried out to me, but I have an idea. I was talking with my friend Finn. Finn, he's a rainbow trout. Finn told me some really interesting facts about rainbow trout. Did you know rainbow trout are part of the salmon family? So each year, they go home to the same river where they were born to have their babies. That's so incredible. How do they know where to go? God made rainbow trout so amazing. Anyway, I was thinking, since rainbow trout go back to where they were born, let's pretend we're rainbow trout like Finn. Make your best fish face. When I count to three, keep your fish face and shout out where you were born. Ready? One, two, three. I'm going to call the riddle. That was fun, all you fish. Now our imaginations are really swimming. Okay, here's today's question. Rainbow trout have teeth, but do they have only upper teeth or only lower teeth? Got your answer ready? Okay, time for the drum roll so I can reveal the amazing answer. And the answer is, rainbow trout like Finn have teeth only on the roof of their mouths. Imagine that. Today, we're discovering that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. Heaven will be amazing. But here on earth, Sometimes things get a little rough. Sometimes our lives are filled with hard things we have to face. Think about some of the hard things you've gone through in life or hard things that kids your age sometimes face. For me, I went through a really hard time when I had to move away from all of my friends. I wasn't sure if I'd ever make any new friends. Yes, sometimes our lives are filled with things that are hard. Kind of like this bottle is filled with water. One day, our lives on earth will end. And that seems sad. But it will also be the end of all those hard things in life you thought about. Sadness will end. Sickness will end. 
Bullying will end. Loneliness will end. Because of Jesus, there will be no more tears, no more sorrow. There will be only joy and light and love and Jesus. Our joy will be bottomless, endless. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus. I'm so excited and thankful to know that when we believe in Jesus, we can know for sure that we'll live forever with him in heaven. Our story will go on and on because of Jesus' great love and power. Today's gizmo is called a perpetual paper. The word perpetual means never ending, something that goes on and on without end. And these perpetual papers can remind us of our never ending story with Jesus. Each page of your perpetual paper has something for you to do. And as you open each surprising page, you'll see that your story with Jesus just keeps going on and on and on. It's really cool. Go ahead and grab your perpetual paper. Hold it so that you're looking at Ramsey, the bighorn sheep. This page reminds us of what we learned on our first day at Rocky Railway VBS. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. And there's a space for you to draw something hard that Jesus has helped you do. Maybe you'll draw a soccer ball because Jesus helped you learn a hard new sport. Or maybe you'll draw a school building because Jesus helped you during a hard time at school. So go ahead and start drawing. I love how Jesus helps us do hard things. His power is amazing and full of love. Now hold your perpetual paper so you're looking at the bighorn sheep and open it like a book. Cool! Now I see Ava the red-tailed hawk. She can remind us that Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust Jesus! There's a space where you can write a note to Jesus thanking him for the hope he's given you. Now unfold your perpetual paper to discover another buddy. The Sierra page reminds us that Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Sierra says to tell about a time Jesus helped you be bold. For me, it was the first time I trained for a marathon. I didn't think there was any way I could make it, but I prayed and Jesus helped me to get through. Today, we're discovering that Jesus' power lets us live forever. 
Trust Jesus. What an incredible gift. The chance to live with Jesus in heaven forever. When you believe in Jesus, your relationship with him will never end. It will be perpetual. Open your perpetual paper one more time to find Finn. Heaven is going to be so amazing. Listen to just a few things the Bible says about what heaven will be like. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things are gone forever. And listen to what this description of heaven will look like. The wall was made of jasper, and the city was pure gold and clear as glass. The 12 gates were made of pearls, each gate from a single pearl, and the main street was pure gold as clear as glass. Doesn't that sound amazing? On Finn's page, draw what you think heaven will be like. Go ahead and do that now. I love these perpetual papers. I can't stop playing with mine. It's so fun to keep opening the pages over and over again. And no matter which page I open, I can remember Jesus' power. And I can use my perpetual paper to tell my friends and family that Jesus' love is perpetual and it never ends. Well, we've come to the end of our time today at Imagination Station. Take your perpetual paper and put it inside a baggie so it doesn't get lost. If you have a Try This at Home sticker, it will help you remember today's point. Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust Jesus! All right, we'll see you here next time at Imagination Station. <laughs>
And he has a theme on it too, that Jesus' love lets us live forever. So get your Billy sticker, put it on your shirt, and when you uh, talk with your friends and family today, you can tell them all about what we learned today in our Vacation Bible School. All right, so we're talking about how life can be forever. You know, every one of us had a beginning. We were all born as little babies. And then things have happened. So think about some things that have happened in your life, like you learned to crawl, and then you learned how to walk, and then you learned how to run, and you went to school, and things just keep adding and adding the things that you've learned. Maybe you've learned how to swim, maybe you're learning how to ride a bike, okay? and then as you get older and life keeps getting on, then maybe you'll get married one day, maybe you'll have some kids, maybe one day I'm even going to have some grandkids, all right? And life keeps moving forward, but eventually, eventually life has to stop. This is an X that they put at the end of a railway because that's where the train track stops. Okay? And life is a journey, a lot like a train ride. And at some point, the train has to stop. And at some point, our life will stop too. But we've learned a lot today to know that because of Jesus, our life can go on forever. And we're going to do a little thing to remind us how that is going to be. Jesus died on the cross for you and me. Jesus' power over death lets us live forever with him. The Bible says the Spirit of God, who raised Jesus from the dead, lives in you. Jesus made a way for life to go on, for the journey to go on forever. There are greater things in store for us in heaven the place where we can spend forever with Jesus. Dear God, we thank you for Jesus and for the power of the cross. Thank you for loving us enough to make a home in heaven for your friends. We love you in Jesus' powerful name. Amen. Trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. On this journey, there's no looking back. With Jesus to lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. You're all you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. On this journey, there's no looking back. With Jesus to lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, 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 oh. Wide open spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. We trust, we trust, we trust in you, Jesus. Trusting in you, we're 
Trusting in you, we're trusting in you.